Hey, guys. Hey, what are you doing out here in the jungle? Watching some Triple T? Hey, thanks for coming along, man. Are you down with TTT? Well, this looks like the way to pool number three. Are we ready? Pool number three. One, two, three, let's go. What? No, no number three, number three is important. Oh, we have to go the other way? So yeah, what is it? Oh, this is just a nature trail? Pretty cool, man, how they, these national parks and they give you signs about the fauna and flora, right? It's pretty cool, man. Some awesome, uh, awesome ferns and different flowers that you just don't see. When you see it, it's like bright colored, like it needs to be coral, like under the ocean kind of plants. It's really, really cool. It's a beautiful hike along the way, guys. Stay right along the stream. Oh, some amazing vegetation, huge trees, but it's been a hike, definitely, definitely getting our exercise in, you know what I mean, that's a good thing, right, look at all the bamboo, look at that, Trail's not bad though. It's not like real steep. It's kind of winding. Stays with the stream. We haven't hit any really, really steep stuff yet. Everything's wet though. It's all wet. The ground and rocks are all wet. The plants are dry, so. So if you like, if you like extreme adventures, if you've always dreamed of hiking through a rainforest to go to the top of a waterfall to the mouth of the falls well right here in rayong province we have it all we got the beaches we got the jungles we got the mountains we got the fruit farms we got it all i'm telling you it's the most un underrated province in all of thailand for foreigners now rayong city is a thai town and there's just that not many little little there's just not that many foreigners that, that know what Rayong province has to offer. I think everybody's aware of the beaches, right? The Eastern seaboard and some really nice beaches, but did you know about all this? Oh, now she's getting steep. Now she's going up, yeah. You wanna take a break before you go? Thanks for coming along on the hike, guys. Let's go. We 
are some serious hikers. But I think it's gonna pay off when we get to the top. And then the way down is gonna be much, much easier, right? We have to take a break, so. Yes, water, deed water. Amazing Thailand. Oh, love the hike. Love the hike. All right, guys. So we're out here at Nam Tok Kal Chamao, and we just met this fine gentleman from Sweden. His name is Hawken. Hawken. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Hawken. Yeah. And he's got a professional Canon camera here, and he's taking some awesome footage of the butterflies. So you, do you live in Rayong province? Yeah. And he's going to... Bon Pei. Okay, well, yeah. you're not too far from Bon Chong then. Yeah, so he lives down at Bon Pei, and uh, we just had a great conversation. He showed me some great video footage and photos he's taken of the butterflies. Have, uh, he's been here many times, and, and guys, this is our first time here, so it's really it's nice to meet somebody. Fly. Great egg fly. That one. A male. Okay. He black, knows... Black with uh, purple spots. Oh. When the sun coming in the purple spots, it's shiny. Okay. Very beautiful. He can tell from a distance what species of butterfly they are. It's amazing. So do you uh, take bird photos and stuff too? Or? Uh, you have to have optics like this. Optics, place, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to buy it. Okay. Uh, because Canon have a, a big 600 and 800 millimeters, very cheap today. Right, right. About 1,000 bucks. Right. So how long have you been in Thailand, Hawking? 10, 10 Ten, years. 10 years. Yeah, ten a years. long stay. Now I... Corona, COVID, and I stay. I don't want to go back to Stockholm. I think that's the way all of us are. We, yeah. well, this is our home now, right? Yeah, absolutely. When they said shelter in place, we're like, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll well, do that. I, I'm fine. <laughs> well, it's very, very nice to meet uh -huh. you out here on the trail. All right, very nice to meet you, sir. I look forward to seeing you at the open mic. Okay. Thank you, Hawkin. Thank, thank you. you. We're gonna head on up. All right, thank you. That was great meeting Hawkin, guys. You never know who you're gonna meet in Thailand. I've got more friends from all over the world than I ever had when I lived in the States. That's one of the great things about living in Thailand is there's such a large uh, expat community from all over the world. So that was awesome. That really added to our day. All right, let's go girls. Whoa, it's getting a little tricky now. Halfway Mai. Glui Mai is another 40 meters. We have to go straight. Okay, you guys check that out.
love the hike take your time come prepared bring plenty of water keep an eye on each other and don't get too far apart check this place out oh crazy there's a trail down here to go into a swimming area down there looks like a pretty nice waterfall down there that looks pretty freaking awesome but we gotta keep going we said we'd go to the top but that looks pretty cool guys looks like you can get right underneath the waterfall we'll have to check that one out check that one out when we come back down okay another 220 meters to the next one <laughs> let's do it yeah guys when you're out hiking in the jungle it's always a good idea to get you a good walking stick make sure it's green not going to break on you preferably if you've got a handhold you can also use that as a snake wrangler right so give you a handhold right there if you can get one cut just right really helps and you can look right and you can do things ahead of you right you can hold your weight on it if you're going down right a lot of things that you can, you can do with one of these walking sticks just remember to get a good green one it's not going to break on you still got some bow left in it right all right let's go So, one good example of why it's nice to have, and you see the fork I got on there, right? Now, I'm not going to stick myself with that because I got my hand right on there. But I can use that as a weapon. It's pretty sharp, right? So, if I had to stab something out in the distance, right? Just a good idea, guys. I'm no professional hiker, but I grew up in the country for many, many years walking the hills of the Ozarks. And I've never walked something like this. You know you're in the jungle. Right? Take a look. Huh. Yeah, it's a jungle. A nice, nice waterfall stream down below. Let's go. So when I'm going up, I put it back behind me and push off of it. Right? It may be a lot of times that you don't actually need it, but it sure is nice to have something in your hand to help you be more stable and also as defense there's something just went through the leaves right there look at this look at this trail this is a lot for me that's why we've had a lot of stops and the girls know i gotta go really slow i can do it just do it look at the views along the way It's a jungle, baby. All right. We're getting there, guys. We're starting to see the big, uh, big waterfalls. All right. Are you Here tired? Is. I'm good. That was a nice break. Nice break and some snacks. Everybody doing okay? All right. Everyone's feeling okay. We're looking forward to swimming. Can you hear uh, I heard that. Some kind of jungle bird. Oh, too cool. Look at that, baby. Nice. Gotta love a little jungle hiking adventure, right? Why not? It's work, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Check this out. We gotta go in between these two trees. Jim, you wanna get ahead of me? I know I'm slow. You wanna go in front? 
I'm slow. Go, baby, go. I'll be in the rear. I'll watch our six. Yeah, I'll let them scare all the snakes away. <laughs> Who's kidding who? <laughs> One with nature out here for sure. I'm looking forward to some swimming. I think the the head of this waterfall is going to be amazing. You got to take your time. Come prepared. Thailand right here in Rayong province at Khao Chamao waterfall <laughs> <laughs> 